Well, it is getting to be one of our favorite times of the year as we're putting in the work right now that will hopefully pay off in the months to come. Uh, this will be the first time I've actually hunted this farm this year. This farm always has a lot of potential. I'm going to be hunting on this piece this year. I'm really looking forward to it. There were some great deer back here last year and some really good young deer that made it into the late season that should be back. Tyler and I are up here at the main farm playing this corn plot where Tyler had some success last year killing that wishbone buck. We feel like it's going to be another big advantage to us this year as we had several of our target hit listers using this particular plot last year late season. So with that being said, we got an 80% chance of rain tomorrow and we're going to get after it here and hope for the best. Hey guys, it is June 12th and uh, me and Justin are up here on the home farm planting some corn. Uh, we got about an acre plot here we just planted and then down here below us there's a little bit of a clover plot that kind of leads into it. Uh, this will be the first time I've actually hunted this farm this year. This farm always has a lot of potential and uh, always has quite a few mature bucks running around on it and just doesn't get hit very hard. So uh, Tyler said, you know what, why don't you get in there and start hunting these deer and see if we can't uh, lay down some of these bucks and get some good footage of them. So, I'm going to be hunting on this piece this year. I'm really looking forward to it. There were some great deer back here last year and some really good deer, that young deer that made it into the late season that should be back. So uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, corn sprayed and then roll on to the next farm. Me and Tyler are out here today on the home farm uh, putting up some mineral, kind of getting a new mineral site here established. This is a spot that's kind of been overlooked for years because this whole area here has been a cattle pasture and just never really paid any attention to it. Well, this past uh, winter we were coming through here shed hunting and found just unbelievable trails jumping that fence and coming out here and then they go out here and just feeding in this crop field. So we come back here today, we're gonna open this up. This uh, cattle pasture actually has not had any cows on it in probably six or eight months. So this it's all getting all grown up and uh, if everything works out right for us, there won't be any cows in here at all. And this thing will just get thicker and thicker and that'll really, I think it'll just really get these deer cruising through here. This is an excellent pinch point. And then you throw that factor in on it, you know, this tall grasses and stuff, that's where I've shot on another farm. That's where I shot my biggest buck to date. Just a crop field that didn't get planted that year. Weeds grew up, got tall and thick. And I've never seen so many deer on that farm in my life. So I'm hoping that this will kind of be the same situation with this growing up and already having good deer movement coming through here, it'll just increase heading out to these crop fields or pinching through going out, out that direction, out these, uh, out these sloughs. So we're gonna get this set up, get a cuttyback camera on it and uh, hopefully catch a real nice buck hitting this mineral and then going out to the bean field. Well, it is getting to be one of our favorite times of the year as we're putting in the work right now that will hopefully pay off in the months to come. Justin's been up here on our main farm today uh, applying lime on a very familiar food plot that we use often. Uh, as you guys can remember, we've had some really cool hunts on this specific plot and I had the opportunity to harvest a deer that we called wishbone this past season. Uh, it's been really wet here in Missouri and we've had small opportunities so we got one more load of ad lime to haul here and uh, we're gonna get after it and try to get this project finished up.
As you guys can probably tell, Justin's over my shoulder here tilling up a fall food plot. We're on a new track for us this year. It's a 180 acre farm and it's a pretty interesting setup that we have going on here. As this farm was in CRP for 20 years, we've done a tremendous amount of work to open it up and bring in some pretty large food sources here, maximizing food, water, and bedding. And we feel like we'll be able to create a core group of deer that stay here and uh, we can monitor them for years to come. But uh, it's always exciting, pick up a new farm. You don't know what's gonna show up. We know we're in a great area and we know some deer in the area. So uh, hopefully this work pays off this year and it's only gonna get better from here on out. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail, Great Plains. Uh, the season of 2020 has finally arrived. We've been pretty well working nonstop, give or take the last few months, just like everybody does, prepping and uh, been hanging a bunch of stands and cutty links, running them nonstop. And uh, just to give you a little bit of detail, kind of what our year is going to look like and what deer we're going to chase. Uh, our first deer that probably we're the most excited about, it started, we got the most history with this deer. His name's BB. It started back in uh, 2016. Yep. He was three years old in 2016. And uh, we could tell he had great potential. Knew he was going to turn into something special. And he actually broke off his, I think his right beam or his left beam. But he broke off his beam halfway up. So we just called him as a three-year-old BB, short for broken beam. Never did we ever imagine that he'd turn into the animal that he is now. So, I mean, he, he probably righteously deserves a better name, but we just call him BB because that's what we've called him for the last four years. But going into 2017, uh, we actually found one of his sheds out in a cornfield, and uh, it just it blew our mind. We knew he was going to be special. So uh, starting in 2018, he was one of our main hit listers and just kept sniping away from us. Everywhere we went, he was opposite of the farm. We never could pinpoint him. And it wasn't until last year that we really got a beat down kind of on where he lives and, and what he does. Yeah. In 2019, that was the buck that, you know, that I'd hunted pretty much nonstop. Uh, Matt had tagged out early, and that's where I had dedicated my season to. And I think I filmed him on November 14th, and uh, that was the only encounter that I had. And I think that's the only encounter that we've ever had with him, uh, except for once in, in 2017 we were leaving, leaving the uh, farm and he popped out. But I was fortunate enough to find his sheds. Um, he's better than I imagine. Uh, he's just a just a giant, huge twos, all kinds of character, large brows, and uh, to say that we're excited about him for this coming up, upcoming season would be an understatement. We're just super super excited to, to chase this buck. Uh, another deer that we have on our hit list that uh, we've got quite a bit of experience. It's actually on a different farm, but this is a deer we call Beams, and. Uh, this deer started out the same way with great potential as uh, he was a 6x6 six six at 3 years old and then changed to a 10 pointer and uh, then this past year just absolutely blew up. He has got some long main beams, he's a 6x6, no, he's, six six. he's the same exact way this year. So that's another deer that we're, we're going to pretty well chase hard after when we don't have the opportunity to chase BB. Uh, yep. Then we've got one more deer that we're going to be after and it's a deer we call Nile. Um, He's been a hit or miss deer. We haven't really been able to pinpoint his location. I filmed him uh, last summer uh, in a bean field, but that's that's been our only encounter. Well, that's not true. I actually seen him um, during December. Yeah, he, uh, he was out feeding season. in a cornfield. We weren't even hunting, but he was out there feeding. So anyway, we know he's around. We've got pictures of him. Uh, we're excited for, for him as well. So we've got a lot of, of good looking deer. We've got a number of, uh, of mature deer that we'd be you know, happy to take, but we're going to be concentrating mainly on Nile beams and uh, BB. And BB. So, anyway, we're excited for the year, and uh, we've got our cameras out. Uh, we put them on uh, trails and scrapes. Uh, just a couple days ago, we've had some rain move through, so we wanted to get them in uh, before the rain set in. So, anyway, we're excited for the year and can't wait to get started. Absolutely. Just getting back out to the farm here today on our west farm that we've been putting food plots in on. Today's the 28th, it's hot today, really hot. It's about 97 out right now, but we got rain in the forecast for tomorrow and this weekend, so looking to get in some more food plots. We planted this into beans in late May back here behind me, and we put up a dual perimeter fence around it, and it's honestly done really good. They've, it's kind of fended off the deer and the beans have they've uh, 
created beans that there's good pods on there and they've got beans inside there so now we're going to go in there as the leaves are starting to turn and we're going to uh, put in some big and beastie in there inside the rows and hopefully that gets coming up here once those bean leaves get off and this rain comes here this weekend so i'm gonna get here and get after it a little sweat equity today it's pretty dang hot out here so let's hopefully we can get it done here before it gets too hot out finally just got finished up there uh, that actually concludes our food plots for the year it's always a relief to get those done and just in time for some rain too so now it's all we got left is checking cameras and making a hit list so i'll I'll get back to you with that.